Hello, my dear friends, young budding pilots dreaming of flying the big jets or already flying big jets, planning for ATPL. Here I'm back with you for the next lesson in navigation numericals. And uh, before we start radio aids, it will be necessary for us to understand a few terms like uh, cubic tango, echo, cubic delta, Romeo, etc., etc. And that is what we are going to learn today. What are these terms in the cube board and what do they mean to you? And how to solve these questions without making a mistake? Right. First of all, understand the definition bearing is the direction from one place to another. If uh, from here, the direction of this aircraft is one, two, zero, true, measured from true north. That's a bearing from ground station to aircraft. An aircraft to the ground station will be plus or minus 180 degrees and that is called reciprocal bearing or reciprocal direction. Reciprocal direction is plus or minus 180. If it is more than 180, subtract. If your current direction is less than 180, add and you get reciprocal direction. Now, just to remind you, angle between heading and the track is drift. And as you see in this diagram, drift is towards starboard. Track is towards starboard. Winds are throwing you towards right. And that is why I put my nose to the left called heading. In the air, if I'm not on my planned track and I find I'm on this track, which is to my left, that will be called track made good and angle between these two is called a track error. We did a few numericals on how to correct for the track error. Okay, let's take the case of an aircraft whose compass heading is 104. CDMVT, division 2 west, magnetic heading becomes 102. 10 east, variation, true heading becomes 112, aircraft is drifting 8 degrees to starboard, so his uh, track true will be 120. Add the drift to magnetic heading, you will get magnetic track. This is the true track. Now, let's see this on this diagram. This is the ground station and the uh, navid which we are using for flying outbound, VOR, NDB, etc. And the aircraft is flying on a track of 120 as planned, and he's on track. His uh, true direction from the true north is 120. Variation in this example is 10 east. Therefore, his magnetic direction outbound will be 110 bearing. True bearing of the aircraft from the ground station is called QTE and reciprocal of it from the aircraft to the ground station is called QUJ. In this case, your QUJ will be 300. When measuring from the magnetic north, the true bearing outbound from the ground station is called QDR or the radial. Plus or minus 180, you will get QDM. In this case, your QDM, cubic delta mi, will be 290. If you have received a QT from the ground direction finder, and you actually want QDM, no problem. Convert QD into radial by applying the variation MVT plus 180 plus minus 180 QDM. Or from QD, find out QJ 
and apply variation MVT and you will get the QDM. So when the variation is known to you, you can find out all the figures. If one of the figures is given to you and the variation, remembering between QT and QDR, the difference is variation. QJ and QDM difference is variation. This is magnetic and this is true. And QDR and QDM are reciprocal. QDR are also called radial. QTE and QJ are reciprocal bearings. Fine. As usual, it will be very nice if you try some numericals based on this concept. And here are your numericals. And as usual, I would advise, first, copy down these numericals, take a screenshot, do these numericals, and then check your answers. Don't be in a hurry to check your answers. Yes, of course, for the first time, if you like, you can take the help of that diagram which I've just shown you and the relationship which I have just given you. Good. And now, once you are ready with these uh, five answers, let's check, have you got those answers correct? Okay. Now, here are your answers. One, two, three, four, five answers. And uh, intentional. One of the answers is wrong. Identify which one and comment what's the correct answer. Looking forward to your comments as also your likes and uh, subscribing to my channel. Good luck. All the best. This is uh, S.K. Booty signing off for the day and shall be back with the next lesson soon, sooner than expected.